Why would it do? People want to say, oh, we're not affiliated with the communist government. They're fucking directly. Fucking record. All right, so just a disclaimer for everyone. This is just us talking about the possibility, you know, maybe some of the things we say may not be fucking completely accurate, but hey, this is just us shooting this shit. You already fucking know. It's fucking rated our channel. Anyway, let's fucking start, dude. Anyway, I'm just gonna fucking say, yeah, I'm just fucking possible. That there's, yeah, it's definitely possible we might go to war, dude, with China. But, like, you just know nowadays it's not gonna be called a war, dude. It's like, you know, in North Korea, during the Korean War, dude, we were fighting Chinese, dude. But we weren't in war with China. Like, we were fighting Chinese troops. There was more Chinese troops than Korean troops <laughs> in the fucking Korean War. And fucking, we were, you know, we were slaying fucking Chinese, dude. And like, if we were to fight today with China, with China today, dude, like, it's not gonna be a fucking. You're not gonna. You already know the media is gonna say it's not a war, dude. Media, well, actually, actually, I'm, I take that back. The media might say it's a war, dude, but it's not going to be a. It probably not going. In my opinion, it might not be a formal declaration of war, dude. Exactly, because I feel like a formal declaration of war would mean a dedication of resources in order to fucking fund, in order to fund this thing, as opposed to conflicts where they just use, I guess, taxpayer money or whatever. But, like, with World War Two, you know, we had, like, fucking bomb, like, war bonds, and we had, like, industry transformed in order to produce certain parts. You know, car parts turned into fucking airplane parts, you yeah. know? Stuff like that, which, you know, maybe, it, de it honestly depends, dude, because this is one of the main things I wanted to bring up in this video, is that, dude, if China goes to war, dude, China does not give a fuck. And this is one of the main things why being fucking communist is so fucking dangerous, dude. Is because it's not part of, it's not the people anymore, man. It's it, people want to say, oh yeah, it's fucking government of the people. No, it's not, dude. It's fucking main peep, the main fucking c controllers of the government or the controllers of society, pretty much. They decide what's good for the people, and there they fucking do it. So if they say you no, know, United States is a big fucking problem for us, dude. They're gonna fucking put. They're gonna put all the resources they can in order to just fucking subdue this enemy. So this would mean using fucking EMPs, dude. It would mean fucking. Maybe they won't use nukes because we will fuck them up with nukes. But it would mean like fucking mass deployment of fucking naval naval troops into the sea and maybe blockade and maybe do some fucking embargoes and maybe some other shit, man. Yeah, maybe China would fucking force, like, say the United States would try to make it just like a small ass fucking conflict, dude. But yeah, I think China will escalate it real quick and probably force, quote unquote, I don't know. I don't know. It might, in one scenario, I can see like China forcing America's hand into making it a formal declaration of war and shit, dude. Like, they would try to make the United States, like, I don't know, dedicate its resources to the war effort. Exactly, and I feel like, you know, we would try to get a conflict, but China would get into a war. And because China would get into a war, we would have to declare war. Because there's one thing with this Chinese government, is that when they want to do something, dude, they will fucking dedicate resources to do it. And one of the things is, you got fucking Huawei... Huawei, dude, people want to say, oh, we're not affiliated with the communist government. Yeah, they're, they're fucking directly, okay? They have fucking hella money. They got fucking hella talent from their fucking, you know, from the government, from whoever, in order to make the best products, okay? So if you don't know about the um, the information web, let's say, you know, if you got like 30% of the world population have Huawei phones, all right? And they have fucking backdoors or information can get leaked from those phones back to the Chinese government, that's um that's see that's one of those things because and why we pretty much get Huawei got banned from the United States is that we don't want to give them that advantage on us and because they're such a fucking big threat to us that we don't want to have we don't want to give them that fucking you know that that move that they can do on us so if they want to do something man because Huawei is one of the biggest fucking cell phone companies or biggest dude, pretty much biggest tech company that in the the, you know, the world has ever seen in a fucking while, dude. And they came, they yeah. pretty much came out of nowhere. 
It's because the Chinese government wants to fucking do it. They'll fucking do it. And I heard, I was watching Joe Rogan's podcast, and they were talking about how pretty much robots can fucking do surgery because they're so low on doctors that they just fucking created a fucking robot that can do surgeries, man. That's fucking crazy. And just imagine if they really want to destroy the U.S., dude, that they will fucking dedicate all resources in order to do it. And just and it just pretty much why we would need to declare war in China because we would need to de- dedicate all fucking resources to destroy this fucking enemy. Dude, yeah, dude. I don't know if you were watching this the same video because I was I had a YouTube recommendation about Yahweh. It was it's called Yahweh the Big Picture by Poly Matter. But anyway, I watched that video today and they were talking about that. But anyway, more focusing on the war f the war part, dude. I feel like I don't know. I mean, in my opinion, dude, I feel like America's Americans, dude, are more hesitant than ever to go to war, dude. Like more, or even if it's just we were just gonna start it off like a conflict, dude. Like I think Americans now more than ever more hesitant to even be in a conflict. Dude. Exactly, because we've been we've been burned so much yeah, so many dude. times in the past. In the past however years, I mean, like, we got Vietnam War, dude. We got fucking Iraq. We got Afghanistan. We got fucking, for some reason, we got fucking motherfuckers in Syria, dude. You know, all this all this shit. But for what? To push some, some other person's agenda. So that's kind of that's kind of the whole problem with even interfering with other people's conflicts. Is that we don't see immediate results. Therefore, the general public thinks we're not fucking yeah. doing anything. And fucking, um... Hey, what's why China fucking concerns us, dude? It's cause like fucking there's a dude. There is. I mean, I, this is probably a whole another discussion, dude. But I'm just gonna fucking say there is a trade war. Why China is more? We're more likely to go to war with China than more than ever since the North. Since we actually were in a hot war with them in, in the Korean War, it's cause we're actually in a trade. We're in a trade war. Like I don't know quotations on the war part, but. There is a trade, pretty much where our economies are in war with each other, I guess. And, like, concerning the economy, dude, like, so, fucking, we're Australia's main fucking um, protectorate when it comes to trade, dude. Like, we're defending Australian fucking assets in the, in the Pacific, in the, in the fucking Pacific area, dude. And, fucking, in China, dude, like you were saying, if China wanted to fucking, like, I don't know, expand their navy to the point where, like, they they have capabilities to, like, I don't know. I don't know what kind of moves they can make, dude, but, like, make moves where, like, they're more in a dominant position in the United States to protect Australia. Concerning Australia, since they're our, one of our biggest allies over there, fucking, they, fuck, what was I saying? They were fucking, they're, in, they were trying to make their self in a position to be the most dominant naval fucking the most dominant navy in the pacific i'm pretty sure we were also protecting japan too dude like we have two uh, it goes down to like we're protecting two fucking big ass economies and i you know i don't know what's what's the update but like you already know like trump is saying like japan's been swindling us for like the past fucking decades and shit dude i don't know if i haven't heard trump say anything about australia dude but I think Australia. I think Australia is a pretty is pretty good with their fucking shit. Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. Because who the fuck wasn't taking advantage of the United States during those times? But I feel like Australia, and personally as well, I think it's one of our closer allies. Do you think we have too much? We have a lot in yeah. common with and Australia. And fucking um, what the fuck? What was I gonna say? Um, yeah, it's, uh, Australia definitely has a way stronger military than fucking Japan. Like, like you know, Trump is saying like, I think that's the one really big leverage Japan, uh, not Japan, the United States has over its allies, dude. Like, concerning the fucking trade war, the trade war extends further. Trump is extending the trade war. This whole thing with trade war is kind of misleading because when people say trade war, you just think you're just thinking about China, dude. No, like this trade. This trade war, the United States is pretty much declaring trade war on all its allies and its fucking, and its quote-unquote enemies. And when I say hey, that... Keep dude, talking, like, getting more warm. Japan, you know, the United, States, the United States has a presence in Japan. But we can't just like, you know, 
Japan obviously owes us freaking money, dude. And we can't just like say like we just can't just pull our military straight out of Japan like tomorrow, dude. Because Japan owes us fucking money, dude. They did owe us. They probably I don't know how I don't know how much money they owe us now. But like they definitely owe us money, dude. And like we just can't leave. We just can't leave a debt, dude. So like, how is Trump getting get this debt, dude? We're just gonna fucking start fucking putting embargoes and start fucking. Um, I don't, know, I, I don't know if this is the right fucking word, but like start increasing taxes on foreign goods, dude. Pretty much. See that? I think that'd be a good way to do it, cause, dude, fucking, what are you reading a fucking? I mean, embargo is kind of too much, cause you're like fucking closing off shit. You're not really getting much, but increase the taxes on Japan. I know. I think Samsung's part of like it's like Japanese or something like that. I can't remember, but just fucking tax it more, and then it's gonna because it's more. Price is gonna fuck up their margins, and they're gonna be all right. Fuck it, man. They talk to the government. They're gonna be like, all right, we're gonna fucking put more. We're gonna yeah, pull money out of our asses Trump. in order to pay this fucking debt. Trump is gonna get the fucking money that that these countries owe owe us, our allies and our fucking quote unquote enemies owe us. Dude. You know, even though we're fucking and China and like United States are like not allies. We definitely have like some agreements going on with each other's like trade and shit. Like we obviously. You know, it's like it gets to the point where like, you know, the government don't agree each other, but you know, like the people well, I don't know how much China cares about its own fucking people, dude, but like it's like how well do you want to take care of your own fucking citizens and shit, dude? And obviously like I don't know obviously China has some shit that the United States can you know, could take advantage that would want. But obviously Trump is becoming more wants the United States to be more independent with its own goods and shit when I say which I think is totally fucking right, dude. Like, yeah, foreign trade is cool, dude. But ultimately, dude, you want to rely on your, you want to, we want to rely on ourselves, dude. And, and, yeah. yeah, dude. And I feel like, see, one of the things with this whole thing is like a war with China, dude, would kind of be a, it kind of bring everyone into it, into it, pretty much. So. A war with China, right? China is a full-on fucking war in the U.S. All right, so what does that mean for us? Okay, we got fucking trade partners all over. We got Australia, Japan, dude, fucking Indonesia. Um, goddamn, dude, I think Vietnam as well, and like all these surrounding company, all these surrounding nations are gonna get affected in some way. Like, what if China was like, you know, what? everyone who fucking trades the United States is like gonna get a fucking fat ass tax coming in, or like, we know we're gonna fucking pull out our companies or whatever, puts pressure, immense pressure on all these surrounding nations or anyone doing fucking trade with China, immense pressure in order to pretty much submit to their will. And then it's kind of the whole thing. It's like, would you rather do trade with China or would you rather do trade with the United States? So that, I think it might ultimately hurt them in the long run because they're fucking. They're um. I heard their 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 GDP is actually going down the first time in five years. So I feel like a war with them would, or a, a Chinese war, would fucking affect their economy greatly because they. I don't think they'd be able to you know strong arm us or fucking flex on yeah. the world where they think they actually could they definitely have some fucking flexing going on dude they have a they have a china actually has military base in um i think they have a military base in fucking in in somewhere in the horn of africa dude like china is having this is off topic and shit is a whole nother region of the world and shit dude but i hear and i mean i think this is like a headliner so it might i don't know like you know, headliners are only fucking reliable so much or some shit. But like, they they are like trying to start a, like colonies. Like, I don't know, that's probably so fake news and shit. But like, China definitely has a presence in Af Africa. Like, they have a presence in Africa. Like, so they have some flex. Like, even all over to the fucking other side of the world and shit. But anyway, yeah, it goes down to like. I don't know. I guess during wartime, it kind of hurts all economies, dude. And then it's like it's really, it's like really in the end is like who's profiting, exactly. or like who who it took, who's um, uh, who's like who took the who took the lesser L, I guess. <laughs> yeah. 
pretty much, and I guess so this would come down to pretty much since China would be affected the most too, because I think I think the United States will be fine. Dude, let's say fucking I don't know, like a bunch of countries like you know what, we're not gonna trade with you anymore, dude. I think the United States would, be, <laughs> I think they would be fine. We wouldn't get affected. You probably get affected a little bit, not that much. But China, I think they would get affected hella because they gotta export. They're fucking doing exports on motherfuckers. That's pretty much how they do their shit. So this would ultimately come down to how quick the war would be. Because they would get affected by by a lot of countries not wanting to trade with them anymore. They would have to, let's say we got to conflict. And then immediately they would probably respond fucking heavily in order to end this conflict quickly. Because they know the amount of damage that would do to them. So, and that would also mean like how fucking, how much would, how, how hard would they really go in order to yeah, end this conflict can... quickly. I still, you know, obviously being, you know... I don't want to say it's being biased, dude, but obviously I do believe America will come out on top. There were to be a fucking conflict slash war with China and shit, dude. But it's like I, I can only imagine like the Chinese people actually having a more like they're more like I don't know. It's like their whole I don't know if it's like a race thing, but like they're more inclined to like if, like like it goes down to the very Chinese family the. The singular Chinese family will be dedicated to the war effort, but here in America, like, I don't know, I guess like a certain amount of population in America, like, will be a, will actually really fucking focus on the war and shit, dude. Uh, kind of get what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't know, I feel like a mindset of America, dude, like, yeah. I feel like the United States will try, like, say there was a war, dude. The United States will try to make that war not affect the daily lives of Americans, dude. Like, you you know, they're still going to be fucking, you know, they're still going to be bang, like, you know, go down to, like, this, the yeah. typical young person, dude. They're still going to be bangers. Say there was a big-ass war, dude, with China. Obviously, like, the young person and the young people in the family might not get affected, dude. You know, unless you have, like, a, a you know, immediate family in, um, in the war and shit actually doing some fighting, dude. Otherwise, you're not probably not gonna get affected. Like you're still gonna be fucking. I don't know. I feel like the economy, the war won't affect the United States economy that much. I, in my opinion, I probably didn't give enough evidence on that, but but I think daily life will not be affected. Yeah, dude. I think because Chinese government affects. Pretty much relies on everyone or in order to sustain itself. Yeah, I think a war would definitely, especially with the United States, a war would definitely fucking um, I don't know, for fucking China hold hell of weight on just the yeah, daily dude, lives the fucking, of everyone. Dude, the fucking rice paddy farm, like the fucking rice for farm, China. will be straight affected, dude. Like, like I'm pretty sure food rations in, in <laughs> China, dude, will probably be cut. Dude, pretty much like fucking. Pretty much everything, the whole economy, like to the fucking sur to like farmers, to like I don't know workers, dude. Restaurant, I'm pretty sure restaurants will shut down and shit. Like instead of having restaurants, dude, like all the workers need to like report to some factory and shit and start making weapons and bullets and shit, dude. And I'm pretty sure there will be a straight up con um, cons um, conscription. I think China has a conscripted army and shit, but you already know they're gonna add. You know, one of the biggest advantage China has is numbers, dude. So you already know they got big ass military. They're just gonna draft more people just cause. <laughs> but well, I don't know, dude. But yeah, exactly. So pretty much what I'm fucking. One of the our last points is how even a fucking war would look with China. All right. So um, first thing, it would be pretty much a naval war and using whatever i guess it would be marines all right using marines attacking f island hopping to whatever china owns and fucking taking it over so fucking um i don't know how to say it, literal literal tactics fucking taking over pretty much key points in the oceans in order to control First what china all, can do opinion, on the mainland i think china will straight go they're nowhere gonna survive in a war of attrition dude so they're gonna straight go for the heart dude they're gonna fucking yeah, they're gonna probably secure naval fucking assets, dude. But they gotta, they're gonna try to make a hit. They're pretty much trying to make a knockout blow for the fuck for United States, dude. So they they can end the war real quick, dude. So uh, yeah, they're gonna probably take naval assets, dude. But what's also they can do, dude? What's like what's something? 
it's just I don't I don't know what kind of leverage, dude. I'm pretty sure China does, in some form, have leverage over the United States, dude. And whatever that leverage is, dude, they're gonna be tele taking advantage of it, dude. And like, I guess they're gonna. Tr I, I I can only imagine. I can only speak in like fucking hypotheticals because I don't know what that leverage is, dude. But like. Whatever that leverage is, dude, they're gonna hella use it, and they're gonna try to hurt the United States real bad. That they're not, the United States is not gonna want to fight back. Like they're just gonna be done fighting. I, dude, so what would that mean, honest. dude? Um, what would China? What kind of leverage would they have? Maybe I would definitely be like control of the Pacific. Like, what if fucking, you know, what if you cut off? The United States from Australia and Indonesia, and what if you just cut them off? Cut them off from their allies, Fuck. and fucking no, it affects no, the allies well, so much all, that the United, no, the United States United controls. States, like, say somehow China affected like trade with Australia. Like somehow Australia was like surrounded by Chinese vessels, dude. I honestly do believe China, well, United States will come will come into the rescue. We'll do some rescue mission, dude. I was thinking like. The knockout blow that I'm thinking, dude, is like fucking a loss of American life, dude. Like pretty much tapping into the to the American civilization. Like, like it's like the United States has this fucking mentality ever since the Vietnam War. Like we just became anti-war. Like we just became anti-war ever since ever since Vietnam and shit, dude. And like I honestly do believe that's still around. That mentality is still around, dude. Vietnam still freaking affects the United States mindset, dude. Like, that's a, that's one of the, um, I don't know, I just, obviously the military and Marines did their fucking jobs, dude. They did their jobs, they slayed bodies when they were there, dude. They did their job, but politically, we just didn't accomplish our goals, dude. And, like, I guess that's, that big, that's still, we took an L, dude. We took an L, and that's an L that we still, we still live with generations after. And, I think, I think, dude, what China's biggest blow against the United States, dude, say, like, China somehow, God forbid, say they blew up a freaking, they destroyed some naval ships, dude. They destroyed, like, a few naval ships, a couple naval ships, dude, and a fucking big deck or a mid deck, dude. A mid deck has, like, fucking 2,500 to 3,000 people in there, like, American troops, navy, sailors, marines, and there's even a couple civilians that go that go with them and shit but say imagine fucking losing 25 to 3,000 americans life lives in like a date or like some battles or quote yeah battle quote unquote scrimmage and fucking boom 2,500 people dead as fuck dude and like imagine hearing that in the news dude imagine seeing headlines that would be headlines everywhere dude. that'd be headlines everywhere That'll be like a 9-11 all over again. It'd be some... And they'll tap into China, like... Dude, they'll tap into the American psyche. It goes down to the psychological warfare then. And... And I think this whole thing comes down to... The capabilities of China and their fucking intelligence agencies and all this shit like that. And what their capabilities... So I have here written down it's man, ma media manipulation to discourage the U.S. So what? what you think the U.S. is gonna fucking brag about? Oh yeah, we fucking murked over here like fucking twenty thousand Chinese motherfuckers in the Pacific? Nah, dude, we're not gonna we're not gonna do that. Yeah, we took down some ships here, took some ships there. We're going to go to this position in order to fucking do whatever. But nah, dude. So let's say the Chinese fucking take down you know two big ass warships and an aircraft carrier. All right, the Chinese are gonna disseminate to the fucking internet oh my gosh 10,000 US US people were fucking murked in this battle and shit and then just the fucking um, the article would be like pretty much discouraging the US in order to do this battle and because most of these motherfuckers you know the US are, are, or at least these Democrats are so soft it comes down to the Congress or whatever like it'll affect these Congress people like no we gotta get out of this war you know just do just do whatever and because Congress is fucking civilian and you know half I think yeah. half's like Democrat or close to half's Democrat or whatever that's a big fucking leverage in order to stop this war 
So it would pretty much be a if how how would we strong how would China strong arm the U.S. to end this war? Because the U.S. will fuck up China, and they know that shit over the long run. So how would they defeat us uh, immediately? Pretty much affect our politics, affect our morale. Dude, I yeah, think economically you know, even, we're even fine. Like, so honestly, that's fucking off But like you know, affect us morally as well. Like, like fucking 25 3000 troops dead as fucking a shit dude that would definitely affect me that would probably affect like it wouldn't even it was like it would affect every freaking american more than like i don't know i guess like going, i don't know it's like it's like we're so accustomed to like the media dude like we're so accustomed to the media dude i don't know it's like the headlines the headlines will affect America's more than fucking the actual war itself. Like, you already know the United States is gonna, it's not gonna be reporting shit. Yeah, like, yeah, you said, like, we're not be gonna be reporting Chinese casualties, but you already know, like, China's gonna be, is gonna be reporting its casualties and the United States casualties. And, like, yeah, dude. Anyway, I'm just repeating what you said. But, yeah, dude, that's probably one of the biggest, like, probably not just even China, dude. What's so crazy is not even China, dude. I'm pretty sure Iran knows that. Fucking North Korea knows that. It's like every fucking country knows that. That the, one of the United States' biggest weaknesses is its own media, dude. It's its media. And it's psyche. And, like, since we're the biggest news outlets, pretty much we're the biggest internet users. I'm going to say we're the biggest internet users. I don't give a fuck if... Asia has the most populated populated people, dude. I'm just gonna say, fucking United States has the most fucking, you know, media users than any anywhere else in the earth, dude. And like, that's a tap into our psychology, dude. Like, they have a they have a tap. They have a fucking access to our own psycho psychology, dude. Our own psyche, and that's definitely something gonna use. Exactly. All right. Anyway, dude, I think I might fucking end it here. That covered all my topics, so whatever. But yeah, I'll fucking end the recording. Alright, so that's gonna be it for this video. Sorry for the fucked up ass audio. I did the best I could. But uh, yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. And like the video. And I'll definitely be making more of this shit. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.